Oh, oh. Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'll tell you how you can get the maximum out of your PC. Like the maximum FPS out of your PC. Like how you can speed up your PC to get the most of the FPS in your games. So, are you struggling to play your games at lower FPS? At a very much lower rate that you can hardly play it. So, don't worry. I'm here to save you. So I'll tell you a couple of steps in which, if following which, you can increase your FPS around, if you have 30 FPS, you can increase to about 50 FPS or 60 probably. Just these are steps. If you follow me, I will guide you to the very most of your PC. So before getting this, I would like to tell you that some of the, pro uh, the program throw stop I introduced in this tab will be only for overclocked motherboards so don't worry if that program doesn't work for you but it does for most of the people so guys what uh, first step what you need to do is right click and go to your graphic properties or you can you have Intel I have both Intel and AMD Radeon so I will tell you about AMD and Intel both graphic cards how you can get the maximum out of that so let's load it first like yeah okay as you can see I have AMD Radeon as you can see wait as you can see I have AMD Radeon HD7700 series which is enabled I got Intercore i7 3612 QM CPU 2.10 GHz memory 6 GB and trying to upgrade it but like I have a normal laptop it's not a PC it's a laptop so what you need to do is just go to your gaming my AMD Radeon version is uh, uh, what do we say 17.1.1 if you have a lower version don't worry you just need to go to gaming and you need to select your tanky X or just there would be a different uh, menu for that but the option will be the same so you need to go to NTS link mode you need to go enhance application settings NTS link method multi sampling morphologic filtering off other stuff filtering override application settings and other stuff filtering level 2 like you are decreasing the quality but increasing the performance now texture filtering quality the most you don't need to set it to high or standard you need to set it to performance we need the performance we need to get the fps out of this thing so surface performance optimization on wait for vertical refresh off unless the application specifies gpu triple buffering you can turn that on if you want to but i will like to keep it off and the shader catch it amd optimize or you can do on or you can do amd optimize i'll rather do on and the translation mode uh translation mode is application uh settings or amd optimize amd optimize is quite good or you can select uh, use application settings because tanky x does support it so this was for AMD. If you go to Intel, you just need right click and go to your Intel cards. So first of all, we need to go to display. And we need to make the refresh rate is 60 at Z, okay? And uh, 60 Hertz. Now go back. Go back. Go to 3D. Now you need to click not balance or any other. You need to click on performance here. Performance and then you need to apply it, okay? You need to apply performance then. After that, what you need to do is that you need to go to video. And use application settings and application settings, okay? That would adjust your video. And you need to click on power and you need to click on maximum performance plugged in. When you are plugged in, maximum performance, okay? Not maximum battery life. You need to have maximum performance. And on battery, when you are on battery, you need to have maximum quality. Like, this will surely decrease your battery life but it will increase your performance like oh my god just click on apply save the changes and then exit out of it now the second step i would like to introduce to you is downloading a program called throttle stop so the link will be in the description down below i will just guide you to the website right here you just need to go to google and um, the link will be in the description don't worry you need to download throttle stop and there it is throttle stop 
So, like you can see, there are many videos about it, how to reduce lag in games. So, this is it. Uh, Troll stop, the tech power up, uh, slash download, uh, slash troll stop. Like, uh, you just need to click here and download this. This is a program. Just click here, download. Once you get that, you will have troll stop. I'll run it now. So, what you need to do when you run the program. When you run the program, something like, um, let me tell you something like this when you run the program something like this will appear so what you need to do is actually click on the clock modulation turn it on click on chipset modulation clock module turn it on set multiplier and then make it to the lowest temperature possible like mine is 8 on some pcs that would be 18 or some pcs would that would be 12 or about 30 on some pcs just make it lowest as you can now, after all, what you need to do is the biggest step. You need to uncheck this BD Procot. We don't want to do that because it says what this does is that uh, when uh, your processors are uh, like using uh, uh, at the maximum performance, PC tells the processors to stop working, like uh, work, like work less, like work on their lowest. But we don't want to work them on their lowest. And this program, what it will do, it will just um, like make the maximum of your processors and will cool them down thoroughly. It won't let them heat up. Like I have 50 degrees centigrade only. Like this, this is the temperature. I have octa core processors, by the way. So these are the processors. You can check it out. So that's it. You can click on save and turn on, then save. And then turn off and then save. What it did was like, I'll tell you. What you need to do is when you do all these steps, you need to click on save. Then you need to click on turn on and then click save. And then you need to click on turn off and then click save. That's how it works. And then you can close the program. So these were the two major steps that will help your uh, tanky X thingy uh, game to run as fast as possible.